Hi, my name's Dr. Derek Chong. I'm the Vice Chair of Neurology and Director of the Epilepsy Program at Lenox Hill Hospital of Northwell Health. Epilepsy is defined as somebody who has two or more seizures that are occurring unprovoked. So they just can happen out of the blue. Epilepsy can be a very different experience for many patients, almost like snowflakes. No two are exactly the same from patient to patient. And part of that is because of the complexity of the brain. So today we're going to walk you through how epilepsy can affect each of the five senses. Sight. Some of the seizures can be very simple. There will only be a light flashing. And as the seizure progresses, the intensity and the size or the speed of the flashing may increase. There will be seizures that are a little more complicated than that and involve colors and shapes, maybe lines. And even more complicated than that, there may be full visual hallucinations. I've had patients who have described seeing animals all around them during their seizures. Sound. Some patients complain of alterations in sound during their seizures or at the beginning of their seizures. Those seizures are likely involving the temporal lobe where sound is being processed. I've had patients tell me that they will hear sounds at the beginning of their seizures, something like a loud gong or a bell or a loud beeping, often a repetitive beeping sound. Some patients notice the sound will be altered as if they suddenly went underwater or as if voices are just all warbled, similar to the teacher in Charlie Brown's cartoons. Some patients will notice that voices sound altered, almost electronic, as if it's in auto-tune. They may hear a hissing sound, like a sound or something more statically, similar to when we see snow on TV. So similar to other seizures, the symptom of sound may start off small, and as the seizure progresses and takes over more and more neurons, the sound may get louder and louder and louder until it's spread to other areas of the brain and someone may lose consciousness at that point. Smell. Patients may experience a change in smell at the beginning of their seizures. We refer to this as an olfactory hallucination in that the, the smell is not really there. The person just feels like it's there. Where smell is usually supposed to come from is through your nose along a nerve into this inside here of the temporal lobe. So a seizure that originates in that area may produce a smell that's not actually there. So some of the common olfactory hallucinations that patients experience include the smelling of burnt toast or maybe bleach. It's often a, an unpleasant smell that's very memorable. Smelling things like manure or poop, they can also be unpleasant olfactory hallucinations. Occasionally, it might be something more pleasant like roses, but typically it's unpleasant. So usually the smell is fairly mild at the beginning and as the seizure takes over more circuits, it becomes a very strong smell and it can be very overcoming. Taste. One of the most common tastes that people complain about at the beginning of their seizures is a metallic taste, almost like you're biting a coin or if you had a mouthful of nails that you're about to like hammer into the wall. The symptoms that people are able to describe after their seizure are called auras. A bitter taste is a very common aura, sort of like mm, old bitter coffee. Ugh. It's something that's unusual and sometimes they can't describe it. But we will see patients during the seizures licking their lips, which we call lip smacking. We often see patients make that face as if they're trying to figure out what is in their mouth. And often it's not a pleasant looking face, as if it's something bitter or very sour. Touch. The types of sensory disturbances that can happen during seizures include things like electrical sensations, almost like a, a zapping or a shooting sensation. It may also be like a sense of fire or pins and needles sensation. Some patients will complain of a sense of rising and that could be either an indescribable feeling that things are going up their body 
or it could be a sense of electricity going up the body, or it may be that they feel like their stomach is going up or down as if they're dropping in an elevator or going up and down on a roller coaster, just about to go over that last crest and they feel that their stomach is turning. In addition to feeling extra sensations in your body, you may feel the absence of sensation as if you've just been to the dentist. Things can feel completely numb or can feel like it doesn't even belong to you. That's sometimes called an alien hand or alien limb sensation where you don't feel like that body part is actually yours. We see that in multiple neurological conditions. So that's one way that we can differentiate seizures from other neurological conditions is that patients will return to their baseline level of functioning. So the sensory change is transient, maybe two minutes long, maybe five minutes long, but it generally should go back to completely normal. So typically we only speak about the five senses, but today we're gonna to talk about a sixth sense, which might be considered emotion and intuition. A lot of patients with epilepsy will have emotion generated by the seizure that is part of their aura. Examples might be a sense of fear or panic, anxiety. Those are mostly negative emotions. They may also have elation, or I've had a patient who actually had orgasmic auras. So the emotion center of our brain is called the amygdala. Seizures that involve the amygdala can generate those false emotions. Someone may have goosebumps on just one half of their body because the seizure is generated from that area and is activating the goosebump response in the body. Right next to the amygdala, our emotion center, is another structure that's called the hippocampus. And the hippocampus is essential for creating new memories. One of the common memory-related auras is a strong sense of deja vu. And deja vu in French means already seen, so many people have had this feeling that, oh, I've already heard this, or I've already been here before, or I've already kind of been through this exact situation. That's a deja vu. If you have frequent deja vus, and they're very intense, and maybe very prolonged, those may actually all be little auras. People may not know that they're a seizure until one of these deja vus eventually gets bigger and bigger and bigger and turns into a generalized seizure. So we've discussed a lot about epilepsy and how it can affect the five senses. So if you or anyone you know is having recurrent episodes of the symptoms that we discussed, they may be having seizures. And it would be wise to seek neurological advice to keep you and those around you safe.